I would like to start this section by looking at how we can manipulate imported geometry in Solid Edge using the excellent traditional direct editing capabilities which have been available for a few years now. As we can see we have imported a 3D model and Solid Edge creates a body feature in the history tree. First we'll try and move one of the holes on the model into a new location. So with the move faces command we'll select the hole and then identify a movement vector before defining the relative distance of the move. As you can see, since we've only selected the hole, it's only the hole that moves. If we want the boss to move too, we need to make sure it's also selected. All good so far, but the concentric cutouts need to move too, so we'll need to step back again and select them. At the same time, it's also worth selecting the offset surfaces for the cutout. Now after making the correct selections, we can make the edit re we require. Once the Move Faces feature is defined, you can see it simply adds a relative dimension that controls the distance of the move. It also adds a feature to the tree since we are running in a history based mode here. To edit the distance of the move, we need to edit the feature. Now let's look at the slots on the front of the part. The original designer probably wanted all the slots to stay in line, but if we simply select one of the slots, the others will stay where they are. Once again, we need to step back and select the other faces that will give us the edit we require. Lastly, we'll make a change to one of the ribs. We can see here if we move just one of the faces, the thickness of the rib changes. In order to maintain its thickness, the opposite sides need to be selected too. In order to preserve design intent and keep the other ribs in line, they will also need to be selected. As we can see, Using direct editing in a history based manner allows us to make modifications to an imported model. The examples we looked at here are relatively simple and while Solid Edge is capable of making some very complex modifications using this technology, you can see that it can sometimes be a laborious job to select the appropriate faces of the part in order to maintain the design intent. This is something that synchronous technology makes much easier and can be seen in the next video.